Building a spaceship. Uh, it's really important when you're building a spaceship to understand the purpose of it. Spaceships are, are purpose built and that shapes everything else. Once you decide what, what that spaceship's designed to do, whether it's to orbit the Earth, go to the Moon, go to Mars, collect asteroid samples, whatever, that kind of drives everything else. But the five main features. Uh, number one, you need a life support system you can count on. And that means a good toilet, uh, a good air recirculation and purification system, and a closed cycle so that when I breathe out or when I go to the bathroom, we can take the waste products from the body, run them through a full recycling system, and produce again fresh oxygen and fresh water. That happens on Earth, naturally. Here we have to make it happen through machinery and design and testing. And that's one of the things we're doing in the International Space Station. Next is uh, human psychology. How do you make a long voyage in space comfortable and healthy for a human? When you're orbiting the Earth, windows are really important. Being able to see the world is a constant, uh, magnificent technicolor movie. And it's also a touch with home. When we start leaving the Earth, and there's nothing out the window but blackness, we're going to need a real version of like the holodeck that they have on Star Trek. Some sort of virtual world where you can strap on a helmet and, and get on your exercise bicycle and randomly choose where you go for a ride, say. Go through a park. And when you turn a corner, have the sounds, and maybe even the smells coming at you artificially. You need to give people um, touches with what makes them human in reality. Third is a purpose. Your spaceship has to have a fundamental reason for being there, and the crew has to understand it. Just being in space is okay briefly, but without it, life becomes aimless like anywhere. Uh, you have to have a crew that is actively engaged in doing productive work. Fourth is engines. Engine technology is one of our major limitations. We're still basically using similar engines to we used back at the very start of the space program back 50 years ago. We use fossil fuels to a large degree. And while they work, they're, they're just the first, first effort in how to brute force our way off the surface of the planet. And that new spaceship needs better engines. For our new spaceship, the last important thing is power generation. Where does the electricity come from? Uh, whether it's like these solar arrays that are out the window here, or whether it's some sort of uh, fusion or even a fission engine, somehow we need to have a compact, extremely powerful energy source like the sun, but that we can carry with us so that it works when we're in the darkness and as we get further and further from the sun. So those are my five top. One is a life support system. Two is a, a vehicle that has a strong, clear purpose that the crew understands. Uh, three is power generation. Four is uh, rockets and engines that you can trust. And uh, five is psychological support so that the crew is actively engaged and mentally healthy through the duration of the mission.